All right, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire a kill switch or lanyard onto an antique outboard. This is a 1949 Mercury Hurricane, I think. I don't know, it's kind of a mishmash of parts. But what you're going to need to do is take off the flywheel. Um, see one of my previous videos for that. And you're going to get a kill switch with three connections back here, one for each coil and a ground. One of those I just grounded to this motor plate. And then the other two, I'm going to wire right up here, and I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out where to mount this kill switch. I'm going to mount it right underneath the throttle cable bracket. Reason being is it should just come straight forward and go to my throttle hand. And I'd rather have a wrist strap right here running straight back here then have it on the other side and go to where I'm steering because then that's gonna interfere with my body so wrist strap straight back it's gonna be on port side Now that this kill switch is mounted, it's time to wire it. There's three connections on the back. One of them needs to go to ground. The other two needs to go to, I'm guessing a ring terminal there and a ring terminal there. So we're gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna need a wire stripper, a wire cutter, some wire, some terminals, some heat shrink, and a crimper. All right, now that the kill switch is wired up, it's time to put everything back together and see if this thing works. And then maybe get on the water. Switch works. 